こんにちは、Japan fans! In today's show, we're going to talk about misperceptions. ザー営業ですそれでは行きましょう So let's get going. This is the fifth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku, here in downtown Tokyo. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president. Of Dale Kanegi Training Tokyo Japan and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, and now my new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID 19. Don't forget, To subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series, every second Tuesday. The Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's Top Business Interviews. This is episode number 268, 268. And today we are talking about dealing with misperceptions about our company. Business is brutal. And sometimes clients have received incorrect information about our companies from competitors or the media. When I was selling on behalf of Australian exporters in Nagoya, I remember a client telling me that our competitors had said the Aussie company was verging on bankruptcy and was about to go under. You can easily imagine what effect that had on business for that exporter. There was a very famous case of national brand damage through linguistic imperfection. In 1985, the national broadcaster NHK's announcer had said in the nightly news program that Australian winemakers were involved in a scandal adding diethylene glycol to their wines to make them sweeter and give them more body. In Japanese, the pronunciation of the names for Australia, Australia and Austria, Austria are very similar. Each embassy regularly receives phone calls from the other country by mistake. That wine scandal actually happened in Austria, not Australia. The Australian wine industry was immediately wiped out in Japan and it took 20 years for it to recover. So, Nasty stuff happens, folks, and we have to be ready for these types of dirty tricks and negative fake news. There's no point explaining all the attributes of your wonderful offer if the client doubts your company in the first place. The most worrying thing is that there may be misperceptions, but they are hidden. That Nagoya client happened to be sharing. What was being said behind our backs with me because the trust was there. When the relationship hasn't been solidified, perhaps they hear this type of damaging talk from rivals but never mention it to us. We blithely traipse along, totally unaware of what is really going on. We shouldn't assume. The client has a positive view of us as we begin the business meeting. That would be way too optimistic and too ambitious. We should ask very sweetly So, 
what are your perceptions about our organization? After asking this question, we shouldn't say another word. We have to sit there in silence without adding, clarifying or explaining what we just said. If this question uncovers some incorrect information or a degree of bias, we need to deal with that. Jumping in and arguing the point with the client, however, isn't the way to move the discussion forward. Our defensive counteractions can lead to the mouth outpacing the brain and we say the wrong thing. Instead, we need to insert a cushion, a neutral statement which doesn't agree or disagree with whatever negative comment the client has made. The cushion is a device to give us some thinking time. It helps to break the habit of immediately wanting to argue with the client and tell them why they are wrong. Don't do that. There are better alternatives available to us. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Our show today is being sponsored by, on the 2nd of February, our Dale Carnegie program, Dale Carnegie course, 12-week course. On the 3rd of February, two-day program, High Impact Presentations. On the 8th of February, we have the four-week program, Confident English. On the 14th of February, we have the Leadership Training for Managers program. On the 16th of February, we have the three-day version of the Dale Carnegie course. Check out our website, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan, and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. And they're all available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. Depending on what they have said, we immediately go one of three ways. Agree. We may agree with them to a certain extent, but we clarify the new situation in a way which they may not be aware of. For example, yes, that has been said about our company in the past, but we've been able to eliminate that concern since we upgraded our systems. Disassociate. We make the point that many companies have been working with us and we've been able to gain great results for them. The inference is that whatever has been worrying this buyer hasn't worried other clients. They have been able to get the results they needed by working with us. Correct. If the information is factually incorrect, then we need to supply hard evidence to get rid of that concern. The next stage takes us into positive territory using two techniques. Number one, highlight our USPs, unique selling propositions. We reinforce with the buyer why we are the best partner for them. We do this by restating our strongest USP, showing our differentiation from our competitors. This USP has to be highly relevant to the client. We need to have done our research 
and have carefully selected the USP with the best fit for the buyer's circumstances. We have many USPs, but limited facing time with the buyer, so we always bring up the big guns when it comes to reinforcing or establishing credibility. Number two, expand on our strengths. We don't make it a sales pitch, but we flesh out the full strength of our organization and introduce elements which they may not be aware of or fully appreciate. Often, clients will pigeonhole us into a very narrow band, and we have to show the full scope of our capacity to serve them. We should not be naive about the rough and tumble of business in Japan, and we should be ready to handle any negativity. Rather than the client thinking it, but not saying anything, we are better to draw it out, face it head on, and then deal with it. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.